starting off with the face of Australia Face Base Primer, I'm just applying it to my face with a brush so I don't mess up my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to be priming my eyes with the Essence Isle of Stage Eyeshadow Primer, going a little bit overboard with that, but let's just roll with it. I'm going to be blending that in with my fingers, a brush, and then I'll be setting all of that with a pressed powder so my eyeshadow doesn't crease later on. Then I'm just taking the Essence Sun Club Bronzer and using it as a transition shade for my lids. I'm just going to be blending it up till I get that intensity and then I'll just be sweeping that away and diffusing it with a clean blending brush. Then I'm just taking this brown shade from the Chi Chi Mattes palette and I'm going to be applying it in a V-shaped formation from the outer corner of my eyes following the tape to about three quarters into my crease. I'm just going to keep defining that and blending it away with a fluffy blending brush and then I'll be going in with the bronzer again and just diffusing it to tie the look in together and just keep blending it out with a blending brush. Then I'm taking Chi Chi's Baked Shadow into the moon and back and I'm packing as intensely as I can all over my lid and towards the inner corner of my eye. This is such a nice eyeshadow, it's so good, I freaking love it. I'll be applying it underneath my brow bone as well for a highlight. And then I'm just going to be blending that all out with the same blending brush as before. Then I'm taking the last shade from the Mattes palette and I'm applying it in the same formation about halfway as I did with the middle brown shade, just very lightly and then I'm going to be blending that with the same brush that I used to apply the transition colour. Then I'm going in with my Models Prefer Cold Black Eyeliner and I'm placing it where I would place my eyeliner and I'm just going to be smudging it out with a lip brush to get that really nice soft and diffused smudged look. Then with the Essence Liquid Liner Pen, I'm just going to be creating a wing with the help of the tape. By the way, I found the eyeliner a little bit hard to work with. Yay, so it's finally time to take off the tape and I'm just going to be tight lining my top lash line, my bottom lash line and then I'm just cleaning any shadow that the tape didn't catch. And then I'm just curling my lashes and applying the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. Then I'm using these false eyelashes I got from overseas and I'm just applying it onto my lashes. I'm also clamping it as well to make it really stick together. Then I'm making use of the part of the eyelash that I cut off, which by the way the glue saved when I was almost about to drop it. I'm placing it on the outermost part of my lashes and then I'm just pressing it in with the back of the spoolie to make it stick. And then I'm applying a little bit more mascara to blend in my falsies with my real lashes. Then for my face, I'm going to be mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix with the Maybelline Superstay, starting with the Bourjois in the center of my face and the Maybelline Superstay on the outer perimeters of my face. I'm blending that in with an Eco Tools Custom Coverage Buffing Brush, really blending that in there, and then I'm going to be concealing with the Room Will Wake Me Up Concealer just underneath my eyes, down my nose, around my nose, and then going over with the L'Oreal True Match Highlighting Concealer, but not putting it around my nose. Then I'm just going to be dabbing it in with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm not blending it, more so in dabbing motions, and then I'll be blending that all again with the Eco Tools Buffing Brush just to get that nice and flawless. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip on the highest points of my cheeks, on the tip of my nose, and on my Cupid's bow to really lock down that intense highlighted look. And then I'm going to be blending that again with the concealer brush and the foundation brush that I used earlier. Then I'm going to be baking my face with the Face of Australia translucent powder underneath my cheekbones, on my chin, my cupid's bow and on my nose as well as underneath my under eyes and this is going to really help kind of bring out the highlight without actually having to cream contour and it works great. So just take a drink and relax while it cooks and then sweep that all off with the powder brush. Then using the bronzer from the e.l.f. St. Lucia Blush and Bronzer Duo, I'm just bronzing my face where the sun would naturally hit. So that's on my forehead, my cheekbones and my jawline. And then I'm going to be diffusing that with a nice powder brush. Then I'm mixing the first two contouring shades from the AC on Tour palette and I'm lightly contouring my face with a fan brush. And I'm going to be blending it out with a nice fluffier brush and that's just going to really define my cheekbones. And then I'm also contouring my nose from my eyebrows down to the center and just blending that away. Then I'm highlighting my face with the highlighting shade from the AC on Tour palette and also taking it on a smaller brush just in the dent of my nose or the bridge of my nose and then I'm sweeping that away. And then I'm placing Elf's Got A Glow on my cheekbones just because I can't get enough of it and I just love that extra highlight. I'm making sure to blend that out as well with a powder brush. And then I'm applying NYX's Peach Blush onto my face which ties the whole look together. And then I'm just applying the same shadows that I applied to my eyes onto my bottom lash line so starting off with the bronzer and then that darker brown shade. And then just using a lip brush, I'm applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Then I'm taking the champagne shade from the Essence 3D Eyeshadow Duo, which is so crazy pigmented as you can see. I'm applying it with my fingers in the inner corners of my eyes and then just gently blending the edges out. Then for my lips, I'm using Rimmel's East End Snob Lip Liner and pairing it with the NYX Euro Trash Lipstick. And then that is the whole look completed. I'm just finishing off with some setting spray by Australis and then I'm done. <laughs> 
So that is the end of my easy glam drugstore makeup tutorial. Anyway, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye!